Earlier, we created a video showing a workflow which pulls the data from Facebook and adds that data into Google Sheet. Now, if you remember, our workflow worked something like this. Initially, we had a schedule trigger that used to run every 15 minutes to pick the data from Facebook. So this is a trigger step. It says that you have to run every 15 minutes. Now, in the second step, we used to get add account insights data with data preset. In this specific segment, we added our ad account, we added a date preset, and then we had added our access token, right? So this is the segment that we have done earlier. And based on this data, we actually had all the data coming in from Facebook and we got all the data like the ad spend, click, cost per click, CPM, impressions, and all those kind of data were fetched from Facebook inside the response, right? Now, in the next step, what we were doing is every 15 minutes, we were adding the data after fetching it from Facebook and we were adding that data inside Google Sheet inside a new row. So if you can see right here, we have a spreadsheet by the name of Facebook ad spent for demo video. In the sheet one, we were adding the date, uh, we were adding the ad spent, we were adding the clicks, the CTR and the impressions. And it was running every 15 minutes. Right. So this was our workflow and it was adding all the data inside our Google Sheet. So now you can see that every 15 minute it runs. So on 2nd 11, 2022, it ran. It added the ad spent happening at that point of time. It added the clicks, the CTR and the impression. Then it ran 5, 15 minutes later. Again, on 2nd 11, 2022, the ad spent increased in 15 minutes. And this is how it went until the maximum value was reached at $1,338 with this amount of clicks, this amount of CTR, and this are the number of impression. Now, if you can see the value right here, this is the ad spend that constantly keeps on increasing every 15 minutes. And after midnight 12, 12 it started a new day. And now you can see the ad spent is getting increased every 15 minutes, right? So currently at current time, which happens to be 6.33 AM, the ad spent is $332.64 according to Facebook, right? So we actually have a sheet right here. Now, what we want to do is if you can see this sheet, it will be pretty much a bit difficult sheet to monitor because the same data is getting captured for the same date every 15 minute and it will be very hard for someone to analyze how much ad was spent yesterday, day before yesterday and things like that. So now what we are going to do is we are going to create a Looker Studio sheet. Earlier Looker Studio was also known as Google Data Studio. And this is the type of sheet that we are planning to build, right? Let me just zoom it a little bit. So you can see Pabli Connect daily Facebook ad spent. This data studio report gets data from Facebook ads manager using Pabli Connect. So this is was the landing page on which we were sending the customers to. But if you can see right here, it will show you all the ad spent uh, for any particular day. Now, 3rd of November, $310, November 2nd, $1339.87 and things like that. Now it is pulling in data from a separate uh, Google sheet. It is pulling in this data from a separate Google sheet and this Looker Studio report is generated out of that Google sheet. And in this video, what I will do is I will show you how you can connect this Google sheet, which was created for demo video and how you can create a similar data studio report uh, from the very same data that we have inside Google sheet right here, right? So what you have to first do is you have to go to datastudio.google.com and then you have to click on create, right? And what we want to create is we want to create a new report, right? As soon as we do that, what I will do is I will just connect my Google sheet right here. So you can see all the Google connectors are right here. So the connector that I will be using is Google sheets, right? And it basically listed all the spreadsheets that are available in my account. In my case, the, the data is in Facebook ad spent for demo video sheet and the worksheet is sheet one. And it is saying that whether we want to use first rows as headers, so if I go back to my sheet, my first rows are really the headers. So I will say yes and include hidden and filtered cell. In my case, there are no hidden and filtered cells. So I will just keep it ticked in and then I will just click on add. 
So it is saying note that report editors can create chart using the new data source and can add dimensions and metrics not currently included in the report. So I say that's fine. Click on add to report. Right. And as soon as you create this report, you will see data studio automatically created a, a table for us on the left side. It gave us date and on the right side, it gave us record count, right? Now, the interesting thing is it is giving us record count. Record count means the number of records there are in Google sheet on that particular day. So for example, if you go right here and if you just select anything for from 2nd of November, and if you see select all the columns from 2nd of November, I selected from the first column until the last column. And instead of sum, if I do the count, it will say that I have a total of 66 columns on the 2nd of November, right? And this is the exact same data it should give us right here. So if you can see record count, it is giving us that the record count is 66. And on the November 3rd, the record count is 27. But to be honest with you, the record count is basically worthless for us because what we will do by having a record count, because essentially we are running it every 15 minutes. So instead of having a record count, the real value for us will be the ad spent and the ad spent that is the maximum for that particular day will be the thing that we want to have right for 2nd of November. It kept on running every 15 minutes and the highest value was 1338.38 and that is the value that we are really looking forward to. Similarly, for 3rd of November, currently it is still the day that is active and running. So the highest value is again something that we want to look into because anyone who watches this Google Data Studio report or the looker report will actually find uh, the value keeping on increasing all day long and they can actually have access to the right data at the right point of time. So if you can see uh, on the right side, when you click this table and if when you select this table, right, you will actually find a lot of things right here. So it is saying that what is the data source through which this table is created? In our case, the data source is Facebook ad spent for demo video sheet one. And on the right side, it basically gives us all the type of data. It automatically detected the date and time field as a date and time field. So if you can see the calendar right here, it automatically detected the field as a date time field. Now that is the beauty of Looker Studio. It automatically detects most of the fields. So you do not even have to do anything. And it automatically pulled in this specific field and it added that field to data range dimensions field. Now, sometime it happens that this data range dimension field is not mentioned. And in that case, what you can do is you can just drag and drop this field over here. But currently it is automatically detected. So you won't even have to do anything right now. Our second dimension is date and time. And the metrics that we are really concerned about is this one, right? And it is showing record count right now. So I will just click on this metrics right here. And instead of saying that I want a record count, what I will do is I will click on add spend that I want to have the ad spend for this specific day. Now, the problem is what it did is when I selected the matrix ad as ad spent, right? My problem is it gave me the sum as a default matrix. Now, sum is what really is happening is uh, with sum, it is just adding all this ad spent all together and showing us the total count in the data studio report. So if you just see the entire and if you select all the fields right here, let me just zoom it a little bit. Oops. So if I zoom it a little bit, you will see that it actually gave us the sum. Sum happens to be 56571.99. And that is exactly the value that you are seeing right here. But again, sum is something that is actually worthless for us. We do not want the sum. We want the maximum value for that particular day. So what you will do is, Inside this ad spent, instead of sum, just click on this pencil icon right here. And you will say that what you really want to get is the maximum value of that particular day. And as soon as you select the maximum value, you will see the ad spent is $1338.38. And the ad spent for 3rd November is $332.64, right? And now what you can do is it automatically selected the name and gave the name of the field as ad spent, but just in case, if you want to change anything, you can just write anything else, whatever you want, right? 
so that is how it is and you can see the ad spent is now looking beautiful right here the date time is also coming in right here now the interesting thing about google data studio looker report is you can basically style it it in any way that you want right so you can apply any table formatting that you want to apply but in this case what i will do is i will just apply a special uh, template to this specific entire data sheet first so if you can see right here in the corner it says theme and layout right so i will just click on theme and layout and you can basically select any kind of theme that basically suits your need in my last case i actually selected this groovy template but whatever you want you can actually have a, a nice theme and layout according to whatever you want and just in case you want to uh, have the fonts that looks a little bit bigger you what you can do is you can just select the table right here click on style right and these are the font style that you can see right so if you want to increase the size of header you can do that from here you can change the font color you can change the font type so just in case you want to use cursiva you can do that you want to use comic sense you can do that so those are the type of things that you can easily do using the looker studio then you can even change the color for example currently you are seeing the yellow color right here you can even change the color of this specific yellow segment and there are a couple of things that you can do like changing the backgrounds and uh, even there was a field uh, to change the value size as well so i can just increase inside the table labels i can basically increase the date and time and add spent as well right now if you remember my sheet earlier um let me just open it up real quick so if i if you remember seeing my data studio sheet earlier this is how it looked earlier so what i did is i actually added couple of headings and all other data right here right and the interesting thing about this specific date range is if you want to add any more metrics like if you want to uh, see the maximum clicks for that specific day you can also add clicks and then you can say uh, i want the maximum click for that day again it will pull the data from google sheet and you can also uh, put the clicks right here right you want to see the impressions you can also put the impressions right here so it will basically show you the number of uh, impressions then you can even arrange the columns in whatever way you want so that it basically looks good and uh, ctr for a specific day i think ctr should be something which needs to be averaged and or maybe i think maximum value again you needs to be pulled in because ctr the final record should be the final ctr right so again you can pick so you can you can specify ctr i'm not 100% confident about ctr because ctr might not be the maximum value because it can keep on increasing or decreasing uh so ctr can even be the lower value so if we want to pick the last value uh, earlier we were simply using maximum because it was maximum ad spend and maximum number of clicks the ctr can can keep on upping up or going down and to be honest with you i don't know that answer yet so so probably i will just use maximum for now but i don't think using maximum for ctr might be a good idea right uh, but this is how it looks and apart from that now if you want to add few data uh, like the headings or something like that you can just add it here pably connect daily ad spent data and then you can basically increase the font size from here right so you can increase it to whatever level you want it looks a little blurry right now but i think it will look good in just a few minutes and uh, then you can basically select the font that you want to use for example if you want to use impact you can use impact font and that is how you can basically design the data studio report you can create any number of uh shapes 
themes and layouts, text blocks, image blocks, and things like that. And that is how I arranged this sheet. I added multiple text blocks right here. I will just click on edit and show you how I did it. So this was a single um, a text block with all the detail. Then I added a horizontal line. Uh, again, I added another text block and this is how I it looks, right? So I hope that you understood how you can create and let me just name the data studio report as well because otherwise it will be lost. So, so right, right. So this is how the Google data studio sheet looks and how you can share this with your team manager, your uh, ad managers and team so that they can uh, keep on looking at this data studio sheet all day. Uh, apart from that, the interesting thing is, uh, if you remember this specific sheet is getting updated every 15 minutes. So on each update, the value will be updated. And if you reload this sheet again, or if you refresh this data again, the ad spend will keep on increasing all day. There is just a couple of things that are missing right here. Uh, currently, the newest day is at the bottom. But just in case, if you want the newest date to be on the top, what you can do is you can just select the table right here. And uh, if you go down below, you will see a sorting order right here, somewhere here. It is showing the sorting order as descending. Instead of that, you can sort it as ascending. Or in fact, what you can do is you can just add the date time field for sorting. And then you can, let me just click on add sort, click on date and time, because I want the sorting to be done by date and time and just click on ascending. In fact, it says date and time as a secondary sort. No, we do, we want to change this one, right? We want to change this field to date and time. And we want this to be descending rest. So this is the main sort, not the secondary sort. And this is ascending. Ascending means it keeps on increasing. Descending means it keeps on decreasing, right? And there is one more pattern where you can just see if you want to get the data. And it says show summary row. And it will basically show the entire summary uh, as a grand total in the bottom. So just in case if you want that, you can have that. So Looker Studio in itself is very powerful and you can do a lot of lots and lots of things. So just explore it a bit. I gave you a bit more data on how the sheet is built and uh, you can go out yourself and do a lot of crazy things on Looker Studio. There is just one more thing uh, I want to tell you before I finish this video. I also have an advanced uh, sheet. In fact, advanced data report created uh, through two multiple Google Sheet at the same point of time. And in that, that point of time, what you can do is you can club two different sheets together uh, through the date and time field because that can act as a primary field, primary key for you. And what I have done is uh, I have created two different sheet. One is the sales sheet and another one is the ad spent sheet. And for each day, I can see how much ad I am spending right now. And at the same point of time, I am also updating another sheet that captures all my sales happening across the day. And I'm putting it just adjacent to the ad spend that I'm doing. And that way I can actually create a very nice report that shows how much ad is spent and how much sales are happening at that point of time. And you can actually share that sheet with your Facebook ad managers and things like that, and even your team. And they can even see what is happening the entire day, depending upon how you are running the advertising, right? So I hope that this video will be useful for you. Have a great day and looking forward to you using Pabli Connect as much as you can. And please uh, leave a comment if you have any questions and uh, have a great day. Thank you. Bye.